it was this path right here and I was walking home from work and I had all the ideas of my stories I'd often go through my late teens and early adult and I kept thinking about how all the main characters were always male and how I really resonated with them and as I'm walking this is all just kind of going through my head and I'm processing it and I kind of get to this one point just up here where the, where the light bulb hit goes on and the ton of bricks hits me like holy shit pardon my tongue holy cow um I identify as male like well what is this where's this coming from this is who I want to be this is who I am and it's like oh okay now what now what So one of the first people I told was my mom, my foster mom. Um, it was at a counseling appointment for my identity and she did not react well. She got very um, upset at the situation, not just at me being trans, but from her point of view, I guess from what she said is just being retold like she didn't know I didn't remember telling her beforehand and it just kind of spiraled. So when I came out to some family, most of them, some of them seemed accepting at first. Um, there was a few that didn't believe me or thought it was a giant joke. Um, it's mostly like, this isn't real, you're too feminine, you're too this to be that. Being pregnant while trans was difficult at times but not like the end of the world for me fortunately my dysphoria is minor the biggest issues I had was the belly mixed with the enlargening of my chest but I found ways to kind of counteract it like uh, because I couldn't find because I didn't want to risk the safety of the child I would instead wear baggier clothes that would hide my breasts a little better using the belly as a way to kind of make them more hidden I had a sibling tell me that, you know, men can't have children. The pregnancy definitely shocked a lot of people. I had another sibling tell me, you know, you can't be trans now and said, yay, I get my sister back. So those were some kinds of the, some of the harsher things I dealt with related to the transition over it. And even for a bit, I believe that the child would be better, better off if I at least halted it for a while and tried to stay female for the sake of the child while pregnant. So that, that was its own dysphoria causing stuff. The baby went to two very loving men who are a wonderful couple and are taking amazing care of her. And I'm very grateful for that. It was a painful experience for me, but it ensures the child's well-being and happiness. So, and I still get to see the little one. I can't quite see the baby yet. But if you guys want, we can head over to my friend Mandy's shop and I can introduce you to Mandy, who's been an awesome ally for me through this whole thing. Hey, Mandy. Guess what? what? My letter came in from the fingerprints. Oh, cool! You've been waiting so long for this! I know, I'm so excited. Once that's done, I'll be able to, to go get the crim check. And once the crim check's done, I can go to Drayden and get, go get the hopefully the name change officialized. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy for you. You've been waiting so long for this. I know, I'm so excited. This will be awesome. Ah, uh, yay! That's awesome. Thank you for letting me know. No, not a problem. I appreciate you being there. No, no problem. Me too. It's, it's enlightening for me to even learn about this stuff. Like, I knew a little bit, but the amount that you've shared with me, it really, really opens my mind to everything that you've gone through and I can't wait till it all is finalized for you. Thank you, that means a lot, Mandy. It means a lot to me too. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. My mom reacted kind of with a struggle in the beginning. She didn't quite get it and she wouldn't pick up little things here or there and I don't think she meant harm. I don't think she fully just comprehended it. She is slowly getting better, but she's not quite there at the name and pronouns yet, but she's at least gotten to a point that it's my life and she's letting me live it however it works for me. 
a lot of people have gotten better for the ones that are still around. And for the ones that are getting better, some of them is a slower process. Others have, like friends, have been really good on the uptake and going, nope, that's chill. Just let us know what you wanted to call us. We're here for you. So friends overall were pretty good. There's just a few hiccups in some family areas. You be open, be kind, be patient, but also take care of yourself first. I guess is the best advice I could give to anybody going through this. And honestly, that's the best advice I got is just be patient with yourself and others.